There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be looking at three recent discoveries exploring the deep, dark corners of the universe, its unexplained phenomena and the mysteries that surround us. Scientists recorded 1,652 FRB bursts from deep space over 47 days. Often findings can leave scientists relatively puzzled. One particular astrophysical occurrence has left plenty of questions and gave us little information about exactly how they work. That is, fast radio bursts. However, the recent data collection from a series of fast radio bursts has truly left researchers with more questions than answers, as the behavior coming from a potential source seems to be even more strange than usual. An FRB, or fast radio burst, is an elusive, confusing process as it is. We know very little about how these are caused, other than that it is by some sort of mysterious and not yet understood astrophysical phenomenon that produces these strange radio pulses. The observations we have made so far range from being just a fraction of a millisecond to being multiple milliseconds, a fairly large span. This certainly has not helped us understand what these strange signals genuinely are or where they are really coming from. A dataset from 2019 has more recently been analysed and allowed scientists to trace back over 1,600 fast radio bursts to a source that has been dubbed FRB 121102. What is even more strange? This staggering number of fast radio bursts happened over a span of just 47 days. The journal Nature has seen the more recent analysis of this peculiar dataset, where scientists have been baffled trying to determine the origin of these FRBs. Some of the working theories hypothesize that black holes, supernovae, neutron stars, exotic particles or magnetars could be behind the strange astrophysical event. These observations were taken by the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope based in China. The source in question, FRB 121102, was observed through the aforementioned telescope, abbreviated to FAST, for a total of 60 hours over the course of a month. What makes this observation even more noteworthy is that before the shocking 1,652 FRBs, the last previously recorded number was just 347 bursts since the discovery of FRB 121102 way back in 2012. This is not the only record-breaking statistic that FRB 121102 has to its name. At the highest point in its production, this FRB source was sending fast radio bursts at a rate of 122 bursts in an hour. New Atlas cited one of the authors of the study as saying this study is the first time that one particular FRB source has been studied in such depth, and whilst we have plenty of questions still to come, significant answers have come from this study, giving us some more clues, but also complicating the puzzle just a little bit more. There is still no determined, accurate, pinpointed source that is producing FRBs. Astronomers have not quite gotten that far yet though some of the theories that are already in circulation have not been ruled out. The most likely theory is considered to be magnetars, though this does not mean anything definitive. Fast radio bursts from FRB 121102 are not the only odd signals reaching us way over here on Earth. Over the last few years, a few unknown signals have been picked up from out there in space. Astronomers at the University of Queensland recently traced radio signals reaching us here as being sent from 19 red dwarf stars way outside of our solar system, four of which had planets orbiting them. Luckily for us, advancing technology like FAST and the much more powerful LOFAR, Low Frequency Array Telescope based in the Netherlands, make these studies possible, more convenient and more accurate. This strange space process is still not very well understood. Though the more research and data we can collect, the closer we come to figuring out this seemingly impossible puzzle. At some point in the future, FRBs may seem like something obvious that we always should have known, though for now, the research conducted and the technology doing so is marching us towards breakthroughs with each new FRB we detect. Huge nuclear explosion in space 
called GRB 190829A. There are some wonderful phenomena that take place in the depths of the universe, and recent observations have shown one of the brightest explosions we have ever been able to see across anywhere in the universe. It's believed that this is the result of a long afterglow of a gamma ray, perhaps the longest one to date. The GRB is a highly energetic explosion resulting in a huge amount of light. They have been said to be the brightest events to have taken place, second only to the Big Bang itself. These events have been observed in distant galaxies, far from our own. The radiation as a result of these is theorized to be released during supernovas at the end of the life of a star. GRBs have two separate stages that they go through. There is an initial phase that lasts for only tens of seconds. Following this, there is a long afterglow, the phase of a GRB during which these events are almost always detected. These afterglows are smoothly fading and remain visible for a long time following the initial prompt. This is what provides the bright observable effects. Observations of GRB 190829A has caused some questions, making us wonder if how we understand the production of gamma rays is right at all. These observations were made by the Higher Energy Stereoscopic System. GRB 190829A gave us a unique opportunity to study these events more closely, as GRBs are, on average, 20 billion light-years away, though this particular one was just 1 billion light-years away, placing it close enough to make observations that we would never have been able to make before. It didn't take long for questions to arise, as the team noticed some uncanny similarities between the X-ray and gamma-ray emissions. The current hypothesis to explain this is that the emission components are produced separately from one another, a process referred to as synchrotron. Whilst this explanation makes sense, our current theories deem this highly unlikely, due to a burn-off limit when these particles cool in an accelerator. Baby Neutron Star Found Inside Supernova Remnant it's fairly common in our scientific research for us to discover something unusual and not know how or why it's there. One example of this is the discovery of strange X-ray emissions from the Milky Way galaxy's youngest supernova. When we have been able to fill in these gaps, it's a truly thrilling discovery. For this story, this was able to happen in 2009. Scientists have pinpointed where the unexpected X-ray emissions from the youngest supernova inside the Milky Way galaxy are coming from. It's a baby neutron star. Cassiopeia A was once a dense star, sitting 11,000 light-years away from us. Around 340 years ago, when observed from Earth, Cassiopeia A exploded, entering the next phase of a star life cycle, a supernova. It was then in 1999 that NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory detected a dense central core emitting unexpected X-rays. Only in 2009, after combining the data from two separate and previous studies, that the researchers have been able to unpick this X-ray emission pattern. It's believed that a young neutron star with a thin carbon atmosphere and a low magnetic field could explain what is going on. The study was published in the journal Nature, with the core of Cassiopeia becoming the youngest neutron star that had ever been discovered. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.